CAU. If you're trying to grow your business, add diversity. What you do? It'll climb the tracks in university. When it comes to getting clients, you face adversity. You need to hit up climb the tracks in university. Climb the tracks, 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 Profit, freedom, and impact. Go to paydadplaybook.com. If you're trying to grow your business, add diversity. What you do? Hit up client of trace in university. Hey, when it comes to getting clients, you face adversity. You need to hit up client of trace in university. Hey, hey. Paydadplaybook.com. That's P A I D ad playbook.com. Hey, what's up, my friend? Mark Ware, the king of client attraction. In this episode of the School of Client Attraction, I'm going to share with you exactly. How you can still charge $3,000 to $10,000 more, even if your coaching or consulting offer doesn't actually help people make money. Meaning, you're not like a business coach or a marketing coach or a sales coach or something like that. You, maybe you're helping people do something else and you can still charge $3,000 to $10,000 more. And the way I'm going to do it is not just tell you that you can actually do it. I'm actually going to jump over to a quick interview right quick that's actually done by our president of communications, Rochelle Shaw. She's interviewing uh, Mariano and he's going to share... How he didn't even believe he could charge three thousand, ten thousand dollars more for his particular skill set. He actually helps individuals in the area of dance. One of his passions, his passion is dance. And most people are like, okay, how can I charge ten thousand dollars for that? He actually was able to do it. And I think he's even charging like ten thousand, even fifteen thousand now at this point. But he's gonna share more about the details of how he did it and actually how you can do it as well. So let's jump over to the interview. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, good morning, everybody. My name is Rochelle Shaw, and I am the senior director of communications here at CAU, Client Attraction University, where we help coaches, consultants, and service-based businesses rock the house and explode their income automatically by working 50% less. And today I get to do my absolute favorite thing that I get to do here at CAU, and that is interviews their rock stars, interview their folks who are killing the game changing everything about their industry. And I'd like to welcome to this wonderful stage, Mariana. They're like, play music? (laughs) So, so fun. So welcome, welcome, welcome here, Mariana. What's up? It's good to have you. It is great to be here. I thank you for this interview. Really no, it's it. my pleasure. It's my pleasure. So before we get started, tell everybody like the amazing work that you're doing in your business. All right. Well, I help my clients have memorable quinces and sweet sixteens without any of the stress and the overwhelm. That's right. Awesome. So I've been doing this for many, many, many years now. So I'm not new to this whole thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not just a Somebody who decided to do something because of the pandemic and I have to switch stuff up. No, I've been doing this for years. So. For years. <laughs> so what got you What got you end up helping people in their quinceañeras or in the Sweet 16 parties? Like, like, where did that come from? So it started off with one of my cousins, one of my family members years back. It has to be, oh my gosh, I've been doing this for about 22, 23 years now. Ooh. Oh, yeah. shut up. So and when you were a baby... <laughs> <laughs> so one of my cousins asked me to help her with the choreography for hers because she knew I danced and choreographed. So I said, okay. She had eight guys, eight girls. So I worked on that. I did the whole thing by myself. Actually, her, her sister and I, we worked on that a little. You know, she jumped in. And then after that one, another family member asked. Now she had 16 guys and 16 girls. Yeah. Yeah. There was no way I was going to work with 32 all by myself. So I had a dance partner at the time, and I told her, listen, this is what's going on. It's going to be 16 girls. It's 16 guys. I'll work with the guys. Can you work with the girls? She said, yes. So we went from there. We did all of the rehearsals, the process, everything like that. From, I want to say, what? Maybe the first 30 seconds of what was created with the, when the crowd saw they just jumped and were like, whoa. And then when they saw the guys doing their routine, they were like, oh my God. 
because usually guys are shy of guys who dance, but I was able to get the guys to dance. So they were just mind blown. And from there, right then and there, once that the performance was over, within about two minutes, just unknown females came to us and asked us, they said they loved it. And their sister, Sweet 16, was going to be in a few months. And how much do we charge? And at that point, it was just right. And it was just family stuff. So I was like, we don't. I'm like, oh. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. So we said it started from there and just kept going and kept going and kept going. Yeah. Oh, that's so awesome. You know, so you said that you were a former or you had dance experience. So tell everybody about all of your dance experience, too. Wow, that's, you know, I, I hardly ever think about what I do. You know, we always shine a light on, on the youth or the rest of the others. I know, but he, here's why I think it's important, right? <laughs> Is because there are going to be people watching this who are amazing artists and have been in the art world for a long time, either performing, dancing, singing, painting, right? Uh, playing instruments. And yes. they are unclear how to translate those skills into a marketable business. Yes. And so that's what I think that you have done so yes. amazingly well, right? Yes. As you shine the light, which is one of your keys, is you have to shine the light on the person actually performing, whether they, you know, I will say too that a lot of former professional dancers, right? Mm -hmm. um, yes have a problem with working with people who aren't on their level. Mm. So one of the things that I thought so intriguing when I met you in person, which, you know, he's like so toned down right now. I don't know where that came from. Maybe it's, it's early, but like when I met him, I was like, Oh my God, that energy is, he makes you want to dance. He made me want to dance yeah, so badly true. that I tore my ACL oh, dancing oh, with God. him. Yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the world but it's it's that that i think that's infectious that i that i would really love to to share with our audience is it's not so much of what you you know do with your clients i i love that and they get all of that from you but it's it's your advice to those artists of how to really monetize this thing mm. And that's what I would love for you to share a little bit about. Okay. All right. So, and it's interesting because I want to create like a program or coaching mm -hmm. behind that specific piece. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, I think it's important because there's so many struggling, right? It's, they're just so used to performing. Yes. And then, you know, all of this talent is just sitting there, especially after the pandemic, after everything that happens, it's like they go, well, what am I supposed to do? You know, you mm -hmm. don't get the feeling on Zoom while right. I'm dancing right. in right. my living room. Uh, well, that's a whole different beast. <laughs> and and, <laughs> and I, I've, worked, I've worked through Zoom with some of my students as far as, um, like I have an academy, a youth academy also. And... Like, I've had one of them play the music. Like, I'm, okay, you're going to be the DJ. And him playing the music and me listening, and I'm like, this sounds dead. Like, this is what you guys hear when I'm playing the music for you? They're like, yeah. And I'm like, wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I even, like, for, for my clients, I've worked, I've found ways to tweak and get them, you know, everything with audio and all that stuff, great audio. So to, specifically to the piece of this. Yeah. As an artist, as someone who has, you know, trained under people who have been, you know, through Martha Graham and Horton Technique, and um, I did a lot of stuff with um, at Broadway Dance Center and was able to learn from some of the greatest there, we come with an orchestrative perspective. And this is, this is the one thing that I'm always trying to get, have my clients understand is when I create as a choreographer, from choreographing from an orchestrative perspective, what do I mean by that? I'm the person that's gonna know what the DJ needs because the DJ needs the music and the DJ needs a rundown. So I, I know this because I've done this for so long and I know it from the DJ's perspective. Yeah. I'm gonna know and choreograph through numbers, 
and teach teach the you know the, the, my court the court or the chambelanes how to count how to how to focus on music what is the primary percussion what is what is the underbeat what are what's the vocals what's the lyrics what part of the music specifically are we trying to hit and these are the things that all of us artists know but they don't in a sense they know that they know it but they don't think that other people don't know this and in need to- and, and are shocked right and are shocked, and are shocked. Right. Like, yeah. it's like you don't you don't feel that beat and they'll go no i i, I have right. i don't feel anything you don't see that you're in the pocket i have no idea that i am nowhere in the pocket right like like they just yes. don't get it and right. and trying to convey that that's where your brilliance truly comes out because I've watched several of the things that you choreographed to newbies, to people who aren't dancers. And yes, they're on the beat. Yes, they feel, you know, confident. And that was one of the things that you love to talk yes. about. Um, yes. I just loved it. I absolutely loved it. I love what you're doing. Uh, I think you're so amazing. And I know that you are inspiring other artists. <laughs> to want to do this. So let, let's get into the business side of it too, because I think that's where things kind of really took off. Like you knew you had the skill, but finding consistent people who need this done is truly the hard part. Would you not agree? That's the hard part, right? So here's the thing. For me, it was always a lot of word of mouth. It was a wonderful thing when we were able to show you know, have the events and, you know, the 316 and the performances and have other, you know, the guests there because the guests would then come up to us and say, again, you know, we're doing this X, Y, and Z, right? Yeah. Then in those things, and, and for those of you and the people who don't know what a quince and a sweet 16 is, it's, I always related to, it's a wedding without saying I do. <laughs> well, 15 and a 16 year old girl. It's the same elaborate, it's, it's, Brides and grooms, quote unquote, which are called a court, right? Damas and caballeros, chambelanes in Spanish. So it's very similar to that for a 14, 15 and 16 year old, right? So we come in, and I think I've lost your question, but <laughs> so we come in again and, you know, train them on any and everything that they want to do. So entrances, exits, what is stage left? What is stage right? What's, what's center stage? Yes. All of this goes into us training them and teaching them. And this is, the, this is how and why they're able to execute the choreography and not be dancers. And the other part of it is that we always do is work on mindset. You have to believe that you can do this <laughs> in order for you to do it. And that's part of what we put into all of our trainings and all of our rehearsals is the mindset and even the envisioning. Okay, the day of, what do you want to look like? What do you want to look like the day of? How do you want the, cap, the, the cameras to capture you? Because you cannot do this again. They're going to capture whatever it is you deliver. And then the other part is you have the power to make your audience feel whatever you want them to feel. So <laughs> all I love that. Yeah. I, love that. I love that. So now tell yeah. me, so what, what in the world, like, were you frustrated with getting multiple, multiple bookings? Like what brought you to Marquell and the team the here at TAU? The whole thing, and that, and that was your question. Thank you, thank you for pulling me back. Again, word of mouth was, was everything before. The little girls who were in the older girls' sweet 16 it was their time, so we did theirs, and now there's kind of no one else. So now it's like, I know of somebody, called, like some, let's say, for example, someone knows of me, but they're not planning yet, or they're gonna, oh, okay, I'm gonna you know, speak to him in a few years or whatever, one of my child's, I've heard all of this stuff. But I'm like, um, we need money now. <laughs> we need clients now. We need to empower some youth now. Yeah. Um, so I first saw Markwell on the Social Proof Conference. And I was like, oh, you know, his stuff is interesting. And I didn't join them because I'm like, okay, wait, this price is too high. Right. Me not knowing, again, my own mindset is like there's no price too high for self-investment. Never. 
It Never. is no price too high for, for stock no. investment. It is no. And price. I say it's always, um, it's only expensive if it if it doesn't work, mm-hmm. right? Because right. as long as it works, then you get the money back and you make the right. money back. Right. right. Whatever that right. investment is. So right. it's like, well, you know, are you going to do the work? And and uh, I joke with Mark Paul all the time. So I say, you know, him is he's the younger side of it. Right. And so he yeah. has new school stuff. I'm a OG. That's what they call me here at CA. <laughs> you the OG. And so I know all of the old stuff. But so we know old ways that work. We know new ways that work. The only thing that we don't know is if you work. That's it. And so we go, okay, are you going to put in the work? Because it doesn't, it's not automatic. There is right. some fine tuning that you have to right. do to make this work correctly for you. But boy, when it does. <laughs> when it does, let me, I'm getting to that part. Uh, yes. And definitely, you know, it, it is about us doing the work. So I saw him on the, on the social proof um, conference and I had already invested in something else. So I was like, even now, okay. okay which ended up not working. Um, and I'm not going to say who, you know, yep. but, right. <laughs> but I went and clicked into what Marco was doing, what CAU was doing. And I'm like, okay, this is, this is cool. This is cool. All right. This is cool. Then again, he kept popping up and I'm like, I know how this works, but whatever, this is cool. So then I'm, I am really big on like, signs and you know certain things just aligning properly yes yes so i checked out some other coaches and i'm like okay this coaching thing can work and i can you jump into this and i can get some coaching because i have a slew of mentees who have you know been through sweet 16s and different sweet 16s with me and all that stuff like that who are now doing their entrepreneurial journeys and things like that. And my, my goal is to make at least one of them a millionaire. Now, I cannot do that without me becoming a millionaire first and me getting the proper coaching that I need so that I can pass it, right? Absolutely. So I said, okay, let me invest in coaching. Looking at all these other coaches. And something in my mind was like, well, now that you're open to coaching, you know you have to invest with Mark Paul, right? And I'm like, go to... <laughs> <laughs> but I realized what that resistance was also. And I'm going to tell you what it was. So I'm walking and I do, yeah, I know you're laughing. I do these early morning walks, just clear my mind and just, you know. So I'm walking and that thought came in again. You need a coach. And I'm like, okay. Then on a license plate of a car were these angel numbers all of my angel numbers, that every time something I'm going to do, those numbers pop up. Every time I'm in the right place, those numbers pop up. Every time I'm questioning something and I think I'm correct, those numbers pop up. So those numbers popped up and something said, turn on your phone. I turned on my phone and there's Mark Quell and Andre with the three-day, um, December three-day boot camp. This is, I was like, all right, here we go. This is it. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. And I realized what the resistance was before, right? The resistance was, you know, this is who you've been asking for. And if you connect with these people, you will have no more excuses. <laughs> yes. Heavy. Yes. yes. <laughs> and so I was like, ah, I got it. You got on a three day. So no, I signed up. And then, you know, the packages started coming through. You have to do this, 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 and this. This, 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 and this, right? So you have, we had what, six weeks before the three day. So we had two weeks of those three things to get done. Yeah. Okay, okay I got this. Boom, okay, I got this. Okay, I did this, I did this. And then when we get on the three day, and Mark Paul says, You know, you guys already did the majority of the work, right? And I'm like, Yo, <laughs> he works exactly the way I work with the youth. Yeah. For these quinceañeras. Yeah. I start off with, all right, guys, let's warm up. All right, repeat this warm up. All right, repeat this warm up. All right, when we do the choreography. Remember that piece I kept telling you to repeat in the warm up? That's the hardest part of the choreo. And it's like, <laughs> we got it. Like, are you serious? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I realized his method and my method 
are similar. Exactly. If not the same. Yeah. So I'm like, I, I'm, con I'm continuing to get signs that I'm in the right place. Yeah. Yeah. Then it was, yeah, then it was a matter of these people actually care. It's not, it's not about the money. For CAU, it's not about the money. And I honestly realized, like, even before, I'm like, they take the money to hold us accountable. But they could care less about our money. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm. Well, I tell everybody, you know, I get so many applications a day. And my role here at CAU is to vet all of them, right? Mm -hmm. And so I decline more than 50% of the applications that come through. Because it's not about taking your money. We right. want you to win. Right. Yes. And yes. so our goal is to make sure that you have every single piece that you need to win. Yes. Which is why it doesn't matter what yeah. you're coaching, what you're selling, what it is. We just put, I always call it like lighter fluid. Mm, <laughs> yes. So it's just like, you know, yeah, you can go and, and light your grill with a match but nothing really happens to that charcoal until you right. put the lighter fluid. Lighter fluid. And then you put it in and it's like, oh yes. my gosh. And yes. that's kind of how the content <laughs> comes, right? It comes like so fast and you're like, oh man, okay. I thought I, I thought I had already done this. And it's like, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Right. You haven't done it the way that we do it. Just a little you bit. You guys have this secret sauce, this formula. And I love, I love the fact that you are all real and you come from a place of purpose and a place of serving and a place again from mindset shifts. Because I, I tell you, when I got when I first started and I was in and I'm like, am I gonna actually get high ticket clients for Sweet 16 and King saying get a choreography? And I was like, I've never, you know, like. My prices before coming to CAU were fairly low, fairly low. And there was a time when I even asked Mark Paul, I was like, should I drop my, he was like, no. And I was like, okay. And after he said that, no. And I continuously kept doing, you know, the, the DLM sheet, stay on every call. Yeah. Mike found yeah. that the KPIs were off. He found it. He was like, whoa. He was like, okay, I need you to get back with Ciara. There's probably something in your messaging, X, Y, and Z, this and that. So I said, okay. Got back with Ciara. She's, Ciara's a beast. <laughs> like, you can go. <laughs> yes, like everybody on our team truly, like we, we call ourselves the Avengers, right? It's like everybody Ooh, was that. fly in their own space, but then we came together. Together. Yes, serve at the highest level yeah. so that we can make sure that we keep producing winners right yes. Yes. just over and over and over again but yeah so sierra's yeah. the goat so keep going Sierra's the goat, coach d all of you like all of you guys like i love it and i and i just love it so sierra rewrote my copy she told me to reshoot my videos i reshot the video and within three days an app came in and then another one and another one, and another one. And I actually, yes, landed a $10,000 client. Yes. yes. Me from coming from like really low, low. Right. To that. right. And I'm like, wow. Wow. So definitely. And it's still more. And, and right now, because of how everything is set up and how everything you guys helped me set everything up. Like my email list is about to hit a thousand people. Yeah. There are people who are joining the Facebook, the, the, the company, the business page. Yeah. There are also people who are sending and sharing it with other people. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't have this before. I didn't no. have this before. No, you had to, you had to rely on your performance and yeah. the performance of your your clients in yes. order to generate, right? Yes, which was far and few in between. Yeah. So it's like, what, what an ideal situation. Yes. What, a, what a fun situation yes. 
So how's your life now? Now that you now that you've been kind of indoctrinated into the CAU way, um, <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> After the boot camp, you were even more just rocking. How, how did you feel about the boot camp when you came out? I loved the boot camp. I loved, <laughs> loved, loved the boot camp. And that's another thing. I love the energy of it all and, and, and everything. And I was watching your interview with Mike, mm. and I realized, like, I'm, 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 I'm going to check for the next one or see what's what, but. I've never, ever wanted to work for anyone again. But I can see myself working with CAU, working for CAU. <laughs> I really can. Wow. Because it's like, it's on-the-job training. It's wonderful. It's growth. It's mindset. It's being around people who are like-minded, if, if I can say that. Yeah. Being around people who, who, you know, who are also looking to grow themselves. Absolutely. And growing each other, because I know you guys grow each other. And I know that, you know, Mark Paul and Dre are infectious. Absolutely. So it's like <laughs> that, just that whole environment. So I'll look out for the next request for application. Um, but, <laughs> He's but, like, yeah, I just want to, I just love y'all. And, and, and <laughs> it is just a time that, that we get to spend together, right? And just question, like there's no, there, there's, it's a safe place. So there's no judgment, you know, Mark Quell is our leader and Dre as our co-founder, I'm just telling you, like they are, they are so fun to even just be around wow. and then they're brilliant too. Like I, they, they're like, how in the world did you get here? Right. And I'm like, because I know what happens with brilliant folks. And so I just want to, I just want to just kind of play a little bit with y'all. And, you, uh, so, so here's another thing with my life. They also have made it possible for me to fulfill another wish and another desire, right? Which is for me to be able to work, to work and spend more time in the house in Honduras. I'm not in the U.S. right now. I'm in Central America. So this is like... <laughs> So that's another goal. And I wanted to do it before my 45th birthday. And here I am. And it's on your birthday, on my birthday and doing this interview. And it's like everything is just aligning. I love it. 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 Yes. Thank you for seeing you. Like, uh, like, uh, 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 I always ask everybody, OK, so what would you tell Mark? Well, because normally he was doing these, but but he's so busy now. It's yeah. like I said, ah, I get to I get to have fun and just talk to all of our amazing students. So so what would you tell him? What's your message for Mark Paul? I would tell him thank you. Thank you for not giving up on himself and on his vision. Thank you. The world is a greater place because of it. Ah. Yeah. Oh, see, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> like you have to watch this one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is changing lives, helping people fulfill their dreams. And I am living proof of it. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, yes. The universe is the limit. You know, like, like there is no limit. It's just more and more and more abundance is coming. Yes. Well, thank you so much for spending part of your birthday with us. You were fantastic. Uh, and if and if you need like somebody to rock the house for the quinceanera or for your sweet 16, or if you want to renew your vows and you and your yep. husband yep. We'll do the shake and the shimmy oh, together. Bride and groom first dance, everything. I'll get your court together. I can every everything. We do everything. Yeah. That's fun. Uh, you better get him before he raises his prices again. You know what, what I wanted to say too, like, and I said kind of, kind of it. There's a, there's a, like a, almost like a missing piece that I'm gonna keep doing videos and keep informing people because what I do is more than just choreography. What I do is more than just choreography. I'm changing lives, and I'm looking at your whole, the your whole event from a from a orchestrative perspective. I'm like that person. And my, my team are, are like, you know, we're, we're like that person that you see either in a cartoon or a movie 
where someone is just walking past and doesn't know that there's either danger or something that they didn't see coming at them and they kind of move it out the way or they so that the person can have a smooth and easy walk or ride you know memorable through life or whatever it is you know without the stress and the overwhelm yes. this is what we do and this is how we do it because we look at the whole thing from an orchestrated perspective not just from a choreographic perspective ah it's so true you know and i think that that um, as we tie it all together, that's what I think Mark Paul does too. And that's what I think that CAU does, <laughs> right? And I think I, I shared this with you before when we were at the event is that, you know, my best friend in life is a professional dancer. And so mm -hmm. that's how come I know all of this stuff and, and the struggles that she's had. Um, yeah. But one of the things that she said was, she said, you know, I can teach you all the steps, but what makes the dance beautiful is what you do in between the steps right? The flow between the arms and as you turn, right? So that I can show you where to lean so that it's more beautiful. And that's truly what we do at CAU is that it's, we don't teach Facebook ads. Yeah, we do that. We don't just teach messaging. Yeah, we do that too. But it is what to do in between times, how we connect it all together like that this. creates the beautiful choreography yes. and the beautiful yes. dance Amazing. so that you can have a better life so that you can live anywhere in the world that you want to, so that you can make more impact. And I know that student is going to reach the million dollars that you want because of what you've already done. So I just want to say thank you so much again. Thank you for your impact. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your energy. I can't wait to the yes. September boot camp so we can hang out Woo! again. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. And I will let Mark well know. Thanks, everybody else. I uh, hope you enjoyed this interview with our client success. I'm Rochelle Shaw, CAU Senior Director of Communication, bringing all of our wins to you. What's the difference between you and mega successful coaches and consultants with a dream business? Simple. They're getting more leads than you are. What if there was a way to get 50 to 100 leads every single day like clockwork? Would you want it? Then go to www.getdailyclients.com to access our paid ad playbook that has brought in millions of leads for our clients over the years on complete autopilot. This is the podcastfactory.com.